Hey, it's Kelsey with Poofy Cheeks, and today I'm going to touch on something that seems to be a problem for some of you. Um, when I share the SVG files that I create for our free cut files, sometimes the lettering, when you upload it into the Cricut Design Space, the centers of the letters and centers of some of the designs are filled in. And so I keep getting emails regarding that, and so I wanted to touch base on how you can fix that. I'm hoping that I can fix it on my end going forward, but um, just in case for any older files that you're having this issue with, um, we're going to do a little tutorial. So what you want to do first is click here and go to New Project on the Cricut Design Space Home menu. Okay, and then I'm going to use the graduation, uh, the congrats grad file that I created and shared because that's the one that some of you seem to be having issues with. So you're going to go down here and click on Upload. And then I've already found it. If you haven't opened it yet, you're going to go to Upload Image, find wherever you had saved um, the free cut file at, and open it from there on your computer. But since I've already uploaded it, um, I'm going to click on it. It's going to highlight around the box. And then over here, click on Insert Image. And what that's going to do is add that to our canvas. So it's going to take a few minutes to load. You're going to see over here um, the little loading bars, and then along the top the green bar is going to keep running back and forth, letting you know it's still loading. I make these files kind of big because I don't know what you guys intend to use them for, so that is why it does take a little bit of time to load. So while it loads, um, I just want to show you right here, this is the size. And once it loads, we're going to be able to resize it to be a bit smaller. Um, we're going to pretend that we're using it for a t-shirt. Um, maybe if it's an adult size, then I would usually go with about 11 inches wide, unless it's a larger size t-shirt, a double X or X, um, XL, then I might do the full 12 inch width. So, come on. There we go. So right now you can see that this one, the default size on it when you open it is 19.875 inches wide by 14 and a quarter inches tall. Um, and so what we're going to do to make it a little bit more manageable, manageable to work with is we're going to take this down and do it to the 11 inches right now. And that's going to make the whole design 11 inches wide. Now as you can see, we've opened it in our canvas and now we have all these shapes that don't necessarily belong and the 2018 is overlapping into the wording. So what we're gonna do is go over here to this side. We're gonna, actually, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna select everything and we're going to on group. And that'll take a second and it'll come back up. And that's just gonna make it easier for when we wanna move some of the shapes around. They're not gonna be attached to one another and, and move the wrong parts. And now, as you can see, there's these little eyeballs. So we're going to continue. We're going to take all the shapes we think probably don't belong and click the eyeball on them and see what happens. So as you can see, as I'm clicking the eyeball right now, the, the centers of the cap part are disappearing. And that's what we want. We want to get rid of all those shapes that... Um, All right, so now we have all of the weird shapes gone. Now what we need to do is um, reposition the, the wording so that we don't have to deal with it overlapping the 2018. So by dragging, I'm just going to drag that box over the congrats grad, and I'm going to move it where I want it, which is right here. And now we fix this file. Now it looks good. This is exactly how I want it to be cut. I'm going to select everything, and again, check the size. If you want, you can resize it again, but you want to make sure everything is within that blue box so that it resizes all of it. So let's just make it 11, and now we are ready to take it and cut it. So we're going to go up here and click on Make It. It's going to sort it out onto the map for us. And at this point, depending on what kind of material you're going to use, um, I would probably be using um, iron-on. You're going to see how it is kind of arranging things on the mat to use less space. And again, it's not where we want it to be, right? So 
cancel. We don't want to cut that. Otherwise, you're going to have to piece all those little things together once you cut and weed the design. So what you want to do is you want to select the entire shape. You want to hover over it somewhere and right click and then choose attach. And what that is going to do is it's going to tell the Cricut software that you want that to go exactly how it is onto the canvas and you don't want it to try to save you any space or anything else. Then you're going to go back, press make it and now let's see if it's where it is all supposed to be. Yep, now it is perfect. It's 11 inches wide. It's on my mat. So you're going to choose on your machine. You're going to turn your little dial to whatever setting you want, um, depending on what type of material, material you're going to cut, whether you're going to do cardstock, adhesive vinyl, or iron-on. And then you're going to press continue. And my machine's not set up right now, so it's going to tell me I need to... to set it up but basically that's how you're going to get to that point that's how you're going to get rid of the middle um parts of the letters and that's how you're going to take your design to the um, mat exactly how you want it to look without it trying to rearrange the shapes and lettering and all that for you okay guys so i hope that helps let me know if you're having any other issues and we will try to take care of it by um, doing a step-by-step -step video now that i know how to do them they're real, they're fairly easy I think the hardest part is keeping my kids quiet while I do them. <laughs> All right, have a good night.